once you've uh, logged in, you'll come to the uh, to the dashboard, and again, you might. If you if you haven't created any projects yet, you're going to see the, the actually see that help screen we were just on a moment ago, uh, which has the uh, information for the support page and um, and the getting started video link. But if you have already created some estimates, then you're probably going to see anything that's due to be worked on today, or you can notice that you can use the late tabs or the future tabs to navigate back and forth. Uh, to look at different projects. Uh, so I can look at the future tab and that shows me what my future assignments are. So I can scroll out and they appear by date. So once we've, once you get, when you're getting started with Estimate Rocket, there's a few things that it makes sense to set up before you get too far along in the process. So one of the things, most of the things that you're going to do for setting up are going to be found under the settings menu. So under the settings menu, if you take a quick look, uh, you can see we can add employees. We can maintain our item list, which is the list of items and services that your company sells. Uh, you can create item templates. And item templates are simply groups of items that you might sell together, like a package or, say, some sort of a, uh, a system, a peering system, or a flooring system, or uh, you know, a, a bathroom components whatever might make sense to sell as a, as a bundle. Um, and then we have email templates, so that's where you can go and modify the email templates. Estimate Rocket comes built in with a whole series of email templates for various purposes. But on the email templates screen, you can modify them and customize them to have whatever messaging you want, and you can also create your own. Uh, Follow-up campaigns. Follow-up campaigns are where we can go to uh, create and maintain our email follow-up campaigns, which take advantage of the email templates. Uh, so we'll, and we'll, of course, be delving into all of those things a little bit today. Uh, and then your company info. Company info is generally where you're going to start things out. So company info is you're going to put in the information about your company, upload your logo, and some other settings. Uh, account billing. That's where you can go anytime you need to update your credit card information in Estimate Rocket, or you can also go there to cancel your account if you need to. Uh, document, which we hope you don't do. Uh, document templates uh, are where you can edit things like your terms and conditions and some, generally speaking, make some modifications to how each of your documents is going to look. The estimate document, the invoice document, the work order document, and, and receipt document. And then uh, tax authorities, if you're in a uh, state or a province where there are multiple tax authorities uh, that you have to report to, tax authorities allows you to actually build a list of tax authorities with different tax rates. And then in our tax reporting, it will actually show you uh, how much accumulated tax you, uh, sales tax you've had during a particular period. And finally, there's add-ons. If you're using any of the Estimate Rocket add-ons, like the painting templates um, or the uh, spray foam template or the concrete lifting template, those would all um, be any settings for those add-ons would be modified under the add-on screen.